and okay, the next topic is effect of uniform and non uniform amplitude distributions up to now we have seen a uh, uniform amplitude distributions and non uniform what are the effects we will see okay what are the effects we will see here okay so uh, in the synthesis of an antenna for example uh, uh, side loop level ratio for example side loop level ratio what is meant by this uh, side loop level ratio it is the magnitude of side loop to the magnitude of major loop. Okay. So, for example, one, one customer asks, I want my side loop level to 20 dB or 30 dB. The ratio of side loop level to main loop level, SLR, should be 30 dB. How to design that? How to design that? That is possible by using Dolph Chibishu polynomial. That is possible by using Dolph Chibishu polynomial side loop level ratio you know, for a, 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 you can design the side loop level ratio according to the requirements okay by using dolph chipshu polynomial okay so see here it is often so the two characteristics are used in the improvement in characteristics determined by so this cl dolph cl dolph is the is the professor who has uh, uh, invented this Dolph Chushu polynomial. Yeah. Okay, so according to him, the beam width between first nulls is specified. If you specify the beam width between first nulls, then the side loop levels can be minimized. Then the side loop levels can be minimized. The current distribution to produce such a pattern is called as Dolph Chushu distribution or Dolph Chushu distribution. Okay, so he, he has given this Dolph Chushu polynomial. Okay, so the antenna arrays based on the distribution are called as the Chibshu arrays. Okay, so he has stated that if uh, the optimum provided the distance between two successful arrays, e elements D is less than lambda by 2. According to approach, it is practically very difficult to reduce the side loop level, side loop level without sacrificing the antenna performance in some other aspects such as being with gain or directivity. Okay. So the 20, 20 dB level is considered to be good and SLR, side loop level is on 30 to be excellent, but it is practically not difficult, a very difficult to obtain 40 dB. Okay, so now let us see here, uh, what are the Chibishu polynomials? Let us uh, discuss what are the Chibishu polynomials. So the fundamentals of Chibishu polynomials. So the Chibishu polynomials with variable x is denoted with PM of x. Okay, so the Chibishu polynomial is given as Pm of x is equal to cos of m into these are given by Cl dolph. Okay, cos x. This is for minus 1 less than x less than plus 1. Okay, let us consider this is expression again. And the other expression for dolph to upon m is given as Pm of x is equal to cos h into m cos h inverse of x. This is for mod x greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So here the m is an integer constant with range from 0 to a, a infinite. Okay. So the dal tube should be normal for different values of m. Okay. Let us take for let m is equal to 0. Let m is equal to 0. Now I am taking this expression a. Okay, substitute here, substitute that for m is equal to 0, the e, above expression a can be written as t0 of x is equal to in the place of m, simply replace 0, t0 of x is equal to cos into, mm. uh, here m I will write cos inverse of x, here I am assuming let delta is equal to cos inverse of x, okay. So, therefore, P0 of x is equal to cos m in the place of cos inverse of x. I'm simply saying delta. Okay. So, here P0 of x, here what is the value of m? m is equal to 0. That is equal to cos. Here m value is 0. So, cos 0. Okay. So, what is the value of cos 0? So, what is the value of P0 of x? P0 of x is equal to 1. P0 of x is equal to 1. Okay. So now let us go for m is equal to 2. Let us consider m is equal to 1. Okay. So how can I write that expression for m is equal to P1 of x is equal to P1 of 
एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस एम वैल्यू इज वन टू कॉस इन वर्स ऑफ एक्स कॉस ऑफ कॉस इन वर्स वॉट इन फिफ्ट एक्स देर को वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी वन ऑफ एक्स टी वन ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स द प्रीवियस केस वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी जीरो ऑफ एक्स टी जीरो ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन टी वन ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स लेट अस टेक फॉर एम इज इक्वल टू टू लेट अस टेक ओके सो टी टू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वट इज द एक्सप्रेशन कॉस टू इन टू हाँ कॉस इन वर्स ऑफ एक्स कॉस इन वर्स ऑफ एक्स आई कैन राइट इट एस टू डेल्टा ओके सो टी टू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस टू डेल्टा वट इज द फॉर्म लोक कॉस टू थेटा फॉर एक्सापल इट इज टू कॉस स्क्वेर थेटा माइनस वन द सेम थिंग आई विल राइट हियर सो इट इज टू कॉस स्क्वेर थेटा माइनस वन ओके सो दिस इज टी टू ऑफ एक्स ओके सो कॉस एक्स वी आर कॉलिंग इट एस कॉस एक्स वी आर कॉलिंग इट एस डेल्टा so cos square delta sorry cos x you are calling it as x y it is cos x is calling it as x what is the assumption you have made let delta is equal to cos x okay so then delta is equal to cos x means cos delta is equal to x cos delta is equal to x therefore in the cos sorry cos delta is equal to x okay so in the cos square means p to of x so can i replace this 2x square minus 1. So this is the expression for t2 of x. This is the expression for t2 of x. Similarly, for m is equal to 3. Similarly, for m is equal to 3. What is the expression? t3 of x is equal to. Uh, what is the expression? t3 of x is equal to cos cos 3 delta. Okay, you know what is the formula for cos 3 theta? Cos three theta is equal to. What is the formula for the cos three theta? Four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. This is the formula. Okay. So similarly, cos three delta. What is the formula? Four cos cube delta minus three cos delta. Okay. So therefore, t three of x is equal to four cos cube delta minus three cos delta. We know that what is the value of cos delta? Cos delta is equal to x. Therefore, t three of x is equal to four x cube minus three x. So t cube of x is equal to four x cube minus three x. Similarly, we can go for m is equal to four. Okay. So what is the expression for t four of x? It is cos four delta. Okay, cos four delta means what is the expression for cos four delta? Cos four delta is equal to two cos square two delta minus one. Two cos square two delta minus one. Okay, the so like that for higher orders for higher orders the expression is for higher powers you can write it as p m plus one of x is equal to two into p p m of x. Minus t m minus one of x t m of x minus t m minus one of x. Okay. For example, if I want to calculate for five, I can take like this: p four plus one of x is equal to two into t four of x minus p four minus one. It is p three of x. Already you know what is the value of p four of x. You know the value of t three of X. Okay, so simply substitute that. What is the value of t four of x? So how calculate with the t four of x is eight x power four minus eight x square plus one minus. What is the value of t cube of t cube of x? T cube t three of x t three of x is equal to four x cube minus three x. Yes, four x cube minus three x. Like this, if we calculate it, substitute it. We will get different values. So see here, for m is equal to zero, what is the value of t zero of x? It is one. For m is equal to one, what is the value of t one of x? It is x. For m is equal to two, what is the value of t two of x? T two of x is equal to two x square minus x. For m is equal to three, t three of x is equal to its value is four x cube minus three x. For m is equal to four. What is the value of t four of x? This value is eight x power four minus 
8 x square plus 1. Similarly, for m is equal to 5, that is t by of x is equal to 16 x power 5 minus 20 x cube plus 5 x. Okay. So, for m is equal to 6, t6 of x is equal to 32 x power 6 minus 48 x power 4 plus 18 x square minus Similarly, for m is equal to 7, t7 of x is equal to 64 x power 7 minus 14 x power 5 plus 56 x cube minus 7 x. Similarly, for m is equal to 8, that is t8 of x is equal to 128 x power 8 minus 256 x x power 6 plus 160 x power 4 minus 32 x square plus like this we can calculate this Chebyshev problem we can, we can calculate this Chebyshev uh, formula yes. Chebyshev formula it's okay so the the degree of the Chebyshev formula is same as the value of m okay so the value of m can be either even or odd okay so here the value of m may be either uh, even number or even number or odd number anything okay so the characteristics of shape form m here for even and odd values of m are shown in the below figure see here uh, from the jevshu form it can be seen that all the values will oscillate in between minus one and one in the region mod x less than 1, the nth order Chebyshev polynomial process m times. In the region mod x greater than 1, the Chebyshev polynomial goes on increasing without any control. So, see here, this is the type. So, this is the Chebyshev polynomial for m is equal to 1, and this is the Chebyshev polynomial for m is equal to r. Okay. So, here, what is saying that? Uh, so, in the region mod x less than 1, Okay, the Chebyshev polynomial process m times. So mod x less than one means here in between this. Okay, beyond one, the Chebyshev polynomial increases without any control. Beyond one, between after minus one and plus one, the Chebyshev polynomial increases without any control. Okay, so without any control. So all the polynomials are split in between minus one and one. Okay. So this is the thing. Next. Uh, so from the above figure, from this uh, figure, it is clear that um, uh, it is clear that the x is varied from an arbitrary point, say, up to a specific value x naught and varied back to a, varied back to a, then the polynomial tm of x, the polynomial tm of x traces a pattern which includes one major loop, okay, which includes one major loop, one major loop, many side loops, many side loops, and the secondary minor loop of the same amplitude equal to unity, and the side loops arising, side loops are arising for x less than one, and the main loop is extending far from the region x greater than one. Okay, so the nulls of the Chibshu polynomial are given by the roots of the nulls of the Chibshu. The nulls of the Chibshu polynomial are given by the roots of m the degree, m the degree Chibshu polynomial as follows that is Tm of x is equal to cos m into cos inverse of x that is equal to cos m delta where cos delta is equal to x. The nulls uh, uh, can be given as cos m delta is equal to 0. Okay. So, cos m delta is equal to 0 means m delta is equal to cos inverse of 0 or m delta is equal to 2k minus 1 pi by 2. Therefore, the delta is equal to 2k minus 1 pi by m where k is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on. Okay. k is equal to 1, 2, 
Okay, so, so these are the effects of uh, uniform and non-uniform amplitude distribution. These are the effects of uniform and non-uniform uh, distribution. 